Hello, I'm Daniela. In today's video, we're going to slow stitch an Echeveria cactus. Now this is a continuation in my slow stitching cactus series where we use thread and different fabrics to create house plants that resemble the cactuses. Each cactus is based on a specific house plant. Today's is the Echeveria, which kind of reminds me of an open artichoke. It has these concentric leaves that form these beautiful circles, getting smaller and lighter colored as they get to the center. We'll create this design using thread, a few stitches, and then some beautiful fabrics. I use two colors just to give a slight gradient from the darkest outer leaves to the lightest inner leaves. And to create those inner leaves, we're just going to stitch the profile or the silhouette of each leaf. It's kind of an interesting effect. So let's get started. So to start the Echeveria, I'm going to start with the flower pot, and that's the one I usually start with, and that helps ground my subject and it helps me decide what size to make. So I'll just start with the pot. And that's pretty good because I want the plant itself to have like a little dome shape. Maybe I'll trim this down just a little bit. Just like that. So I have a somewhat of a trapezoid here, just a slight coming out, bellowing out at the top of this pot here. I can do that on both sides. Just like that. So I'm just going to use that planter. I'll pin it in place and then I'll just make my sketch so that I can use my fabric and my thread to really make this plant come alive. So just to make a simple sketch, this is the dome of the plant where the highest point of the leaves will be. And then I'll have leaves coming out around it. So I'll start in the center here and make just a few leaves. They're all gonna end up on, within that dome. I'm just gonna curve the leaves slightly just so that they're not perfectly pointed. And then I'm gonna take my two colors so now starting with my darker color, this is where I want the first layer of leaves to be. I want them approximately this wide at the widest point, so I'll cut my piece to that width. And now for the depth is not a problem because I can tuck it under this plant. But now I just want to make a few leaves sticking up in that same format. So I'll fold the fabric in half so I can get somewhat of a symmetrical look. And then from here, I can just sketch how I want my leaves to look. So I'll just make three, and then I can cut them down. And using any scraps that I have left over, I can add more leaves if I want. So this is the basis of the plant. I'll take this out. And that's exactly how I want it to look. I can trim up this fabric so it fits beyond that plant. And it's just a lot of trial and error just to play with it to get that right shape. I want to make sure it's low enough and I can move it around. So that looks great. I have some leftover fabric, which I can make more plants if I want, but right now I'm just going to jump right to that green. I know I want it to be just slightly smaller than this. So I'll fold my fabric again, make my cut, and then I'll fold it in half the width that I want. And from here, I can just use it dark fabric as a guide. I'm going to come up higher because I want this tail to go lower. And I want my leaves to come out here. And I want them to be a little smaller than the ones we've already created. 
And so there'll be a few more of them. Again, I just created that simple shape, kind of rounded triangles. I'll hold my fabric down. And I'll cut that shape out. And then I'll see what I have here. Again, it's always too big to start with, but that's okay. Because I can just pull that shape in and I'm starting to develop the plant. So I'm gonna trim the edges first. I'll even cut off one edge here. Place that down. see how that works right behind it, right beneath it. And then I have my pot. So that's coming along quite nicely. The last thing I want to do is just have a few little leaves here and here, and I'm just going to stitch those with my thread. So when I'm happy with the way that's looking, I'll pin it all down and start stitching. So I have my fabric pinned down I just sharpen the edges just slightly, and now I'm ready to start. I'm gonna start right with the pot right away. I have some thread that matches that beautiful color of the pot, and I'm just gonna stitch around. I'm just gonna use a straight stitch. I stitch just a little bit from the edge, and I'll stitch all the way around the perimeter of this pot. Now the stitching will add a little bit of texture, but it will also ground that pot nicely. I'm using six strands of embroidery floss here. You can use whatever amount of strands you want. For a more delicate look, you'll want to go with fewer strands. So I'll stitch all the way around. So I have that pot all stitched down in place. I can remove the pin and I can start stitching down here these leaves. So I'm going to take some thread that matches that cactus and I'll start stitching the same way. And again, I'm using six th strands of embroidery floss. So I'll stitch all the way around here as well, tacking each piece down. Now I'm going to bring each leaf down to the base here to really add some dimension to our cactus. Once I get to the end of the first leaf, I'm just going to follow that shape right down to the plant. And I'll do that with all of them, starting on the outside and working my way in. I'll do the same thing with the lighter green as well. Then I'll show you how I stitch my final leaves. So I stitched around both layers of the greenery. I used six strands for the darker thread and then just two strands for the lighter thread. Now I'm taking the remaining four strands that are on my needle here that were left over from the original six. And I'm just gonna embroider the outline to each of these little lines. And that's gonna be the final layer. I erased the ones that I had previously done because they were just crossing each other and they weren't very clear to me where I was supposed to stitch. So now I'm just gonna stitch here. And I'll start on the left-hand side. And I'm just gonna make a straight stitch. I'm gonna make the stitches a little smaller than I had made and closer together. So they'll be very close together so that they trick the eye into thinking that there's a line there of stitches. There's only a teeny little spot where there isn't the stitch. I just wanna stitch all of them just in this format here that I'm doing. So now this stitch is just the perimeter, the outline, and then I'll continue all the way around with the remaining leaves for the center of this piece. So I've stitched all the leaves that I want just to give the effect that there are another row of leaves without introducing another color. You could of course add another color fabric if you don't wanna do that outline stitch. I'll just turn my piece over, make a knot in my fabric, and then I can press the fabric just to get rid of any pen marks that remain. So that's the Echeveria plant. 
So that's how I create my slow stitch Echeveria. I really enjoy this process. I like choosing the fabrics for the colored leaves and then gradually reducing them in size. I hope you found this project helpful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. I've had some requests to make Christmas cactuses, so I'll be sure to do that in the future. And if you have any other cactus requests, please write them in the comments below. Thanks for joining me today.